Joe Robine of American Cane Self-Defense, one of the more common questions that we get asked virtually daily is, goes along the lines of, hey, what's the difference between the aircraft grade aluminum Raven and, over wooden canes? Are there any advantages to the Raven over wooden canes and what cane do you recommend? And so I should preface everything from saying that, that by saying that the cane culture has evolved so much to the point that now there are, you get very specific and there's many different types and models of cane depending on what you want it for. Do you want just a training cane? Do you want something that is for self-defense? Do you want it mostly for exercise? Do you want it for combat cane spinning? Uh, so it, it's just about as intricate as purchasing a firearm in that sense. I'm going to focus here on self-defense. So. The only advantage at this point that wooden canes would have over the Raven is just variety in design. So if you want to get really elaborate and start putting on a bunch of different features and some really cool stuff on there, then you would go with wood because it's easier to work with that and accomplish that goal with something like this. Now, if you're going the way of wood, you want to get very specific. And if you're following our method in particular, you want hard woods. That is specifically hickory, hickory heart, or heavy oak. This is beautiful, but this is walnut. I don't, I cannot vouch for walnut. This is not the tool that I want when somebody's coming with a, a baseball bat or a lead pipe. I don't trust this uh, to get and shield uh, between that incoming attack and those that I love the most. This is the Ferrari of combat cane spinning canes. This is a crimson spinner, right? This is one of our Robina. It's an ACSD cane. We love it, super light. And if you're into spinning, this is the way to go. But look at this. This is ash. I don't want this. Uh, I, I can't, uh, this is not what I want for self defense, for reliability in that. So, and here is the issue with wooden canes. And this is a straight up advantage that the Raven has over wooden canes. This is a heavy, this is a bazooka. No work done on the shaft, so nothing's been detracted. Yet look at the close up, and this is again over a period of time. Uh, see how it starts cracking? Once the, the wood cracks, now you're gonna weaken that wood. And over a period of time, and depending on how bad that is, we've tested it with our power shot template to where you, you go two to three power shots before you render this tool useless. That's not gonna happen with a Raven. The most that's gonna happen with a Raven is it'll bend under duress, but you can still be effective with a bent cane. The other thing is that the Raven does not require any oiling for maintenance. Oiling with two types of oils is the life blood, the, the, the food of the cane, wooden canes, and how often you need to do that all depends on how often you use that cane. How often are you leaving it in extreme temperatures in the car, in your vehicle, and how much you're using it. This tool you're never going to have to do that with. A huge myth that I wanna bust right now that I've heard people and people call me about this. Oh, I don't wanna go with the Raven because it's metal and it's not gonna get through security. That is nonsense. Here's what the law says. The law says that you need to have that J horn on there. If you don't have this, then in many states, it's not legal. Nobody questions what it's made out of. When you take this through airport security, they will remove the tip. It's hollow tubing. They'll take an X-ray because they wanna make sure that you're not hiding some type of blade or anything else through there, and they will give it right back to you. But it goes unquestioned, so please, Get that out of your head wherever that misinformation came from that because it's a um the material of it because it's a, it's, it's a metal cane that it's not going to go through security so uh, advantages again to uh, summarize of, of the tool number one just the fact that it doesn't crack the reliability it's a life this is for the purpose of self-defense now it is a bazooka um number two no oiling and, and number three, yes, you're still going to get it. See, it doesn't call attention to itself. Not a lot of designs, two strategically placed uh, grips with a horn that is innocuous looking. But when you put your hand there and you go, you'll understand why it's made and constructed the way that it is. All right. At the end of the day, bottom line, if you're a caner, if you're a cane enthusiast, if you're into this, you're a practitioner, you're a student, you're an instructor, here's the bottom line. You're not just going to get one raven. You're not just going to get a wooden you know cane you're going to have multiple canes just like gun owners have multiple guns because that's what they like some of you are like us 
passionate about the tool and you want something to go out there hiking, you want something that's a little bit lighter um, when you're going to spin, that's what you want. If you're gonna go with exercise, you may not want something like this. Now, when it comes to self-defense, this is our choice, this is our number one. And for the reasons I, I just covered here, all right? So guys, if you have any further questions, we are always here to serve my staff and I at American Cane Self-Defense. The number is 800-289-8188 and you can also uh, email us if you'd like. All right, thanks for watching and keep caning.